Hello, lo, 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 lo. Hello, uh, dear, dear friends, and also chicken people. <laughs> um, we have declared war upon Cuba. <sighs> I fucking hate life. <laughs> I think I'm going insane. Um, we are at war with Cuba. Uh, the drugs have just hit, and we're going. <laughs> <laughs> I will ascend on the wings of a dragon to a place where joy is everlasting and pain does not exist. Da 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 da. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. You missed it. Who knew that snorting apple seeds could give you this sort of high? Apple seeds. I can't even remember what an apple seed looks like. Like I a seed? I don't know. Of an apple. I don't eat fruit. <gasps> well, you're yeah, enough fruity to begin with. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you're okay, fruit. Fuck off. <laughs> it was in the previous game. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big thing. I thought that was a TNT for a second. Yeah, it was just like, slow the fuck down. You Help. You missed the box. I am. I am. That's the end of the level. No. It's good. Oh. Let's <laughs> play a game. Yep. Children. A game about. Um, What's the national smell of France? I'd say that it had something to do with uh, bread. Because pastries have more rights than humans. It's crochet, garlic, and weasels. Crochet? Mm hmm. That's a French word, isn't it? Crochet? Yeah. I, I don't know, maybe. But it's not what people think of when they think of France. They might think of croissants. <coughs> not croissants? Croissants. Um, crochet is knitting, basically. Mm -hmm. Except it's not knitting, because with crochet you don't need um, a needle. So it's allowed in sideboards. <laughs> because you can't have... Yeah, Shot the ones that you just get that just say kill the bitch over and over. Yeah. And over. Yeah. Yes. Kill her. You know what I think is a good movie? Sniffing the butthole? Uh, what? <laughs> Go on. I don't know what that movie is, but, um, Rogue One. Hmm. Yes, the... Are you one of those killjoys who didn't like it? No, I liked it. Hmm. But it just seemed like it was written by George R.R. R. Martin. No, every fucker died. Well, I mean, they had to do that, because yeah. this was a prequel where there can't have been a prequel. Like, a week before A New Hope, and yet none of the people in it were ever mentioned. Like, they had to have a way, a reason for that. Yeah. And the reason was corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I like Alan Tudyk in it. He's good. Oh, sorry, Tudyk. Alan Tudyk is a good actor. And that character was quite well written. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the jokes were some of them were a bit forced but all in all it was a good movie yeah I can't remember what happens except for everyone dying oh some of it is very silly and more of the force of to me yeah some of that's a little silly um I mostly mean of the plot yeah because uh how do I explain this it's a bit silly they need to get the Death Star plans off the the beach planet. I, mm -hmm. I don't even know what the fuck that's about. Mm -hmm. Let's not go there. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like a pleasant it's... place. Fuck, I missed that. The planet is called Scarif, I think. Scarif. But um, it's the one with that Imperial base. The one where they will die. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like they need to get transmit plans to the rebels. Mm hmm. Like the Death Star plans, they need to get them out. But. Like, they can radio to the rebel fleet that's around mm -hmm. the planet, but they can't get the transmission, the data to them, because it's in the way of, like, there's, like, a planetary shield, and they need to open the shield mm -hmm. to get the data out, because, yeah. like, the file's so large, or whatever. But, like... It sounds stupid. Yeah, it is stupid. It is stupid. And, like, I like the movie, but that's stupid. Because, like... If you can radio to someone, yeah. like, you can send them data that way. Yeah. Because 
<laughs> you know, ring, ring. Hello. Got a pen and paper ready? <laughs> like fucking hell. Mm-hmm. Data over phone lines, mm-hmm. even with broadband and shit, mm-hmm. is noise. Mm-hmm. It's transferring image of by in- noise. information via noise. Yeah. So like you can do that over a radio, mm-hmm. and if they're like rebel spies and stuff, wouldn't they know that? Like, I don't know. It's silly. Mm. Don't overthink that stuff, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to not overthink it's Star that Wars. movie. Yeah. And it's written by George Lucas, for fuck's sake. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Actually, that wasn't written by George Lucas. I don't know what you're talking about. So, that's why it was good. <laughs> uh, I think it's the only... One of the only times, like, an intellectual property has been taken away from his original owner, and everyone's gone, thank fuck for yeah. that. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Dude. What? That was blind luck and nothing else. Yeah. I thought that was another they boss. They need a check mark box. A yeah. question mark box. Just nine to go. Yeah. Arr. Oh, oh, I'll get oh, that oh. first. I don't want a D. Hmm. That's probably good. Some more. But it does have the best Darth Vader scene ever. In it. Oh, yes. Like The uh, only time where it's actually been able to show his power. I legitimately don't think that scene will ever be topped by a Star Wars movie. No. Not for me. Because it's just so good. Because he just destroys people. Yeah, it's just such perfect brutality. Mm. Like, to encapsulate that mm. character. Like, it, it's everything that he is supposed to be. Booyah! Yeah. Oh, it's just like at the end of the series when he just get, gets revealed. Like, he's basically just a shriveled old man inside of a mm. powered suit. But they gave him eyebrows and tried to make him look like the other guy. And because of that prequel series, I doubt that guy's going to get any work ever. Yeah, that, that does seem to have been hard on him. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't because he was a bad actor, he was a very good actor. There's just the content he yeah, had to work with. He was Shit. fine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with him, it's just the scripts were bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He has to, like, he's supposed to be, like, seduced by the dark side, but he acts like a com- Point wanker throughout the whole thing. Oh, yeah, just none of it makes sense. Mm. Like, at the end of the third film, it was just like, oh. fuck the sequels, behead the cat. Yeah, <laughs> just just kill everybody. Yeah. Just like, it can't be bad mm. if everyone's dead, you know? Yeah. Just an idea. Um, yeah. I really want to watch... No witnesses. No one will... <laughs> I really want to watch the Clone Wars series. I've never gone around to that. Nah. Because um, apparently... Um, it was supposed to be actually really good. Yeah, apparently it's written really, really well. And it makes... All of Anakin's bullshit make a lot more sense. How the hell do you manage that? Just apparently, like, a lot of the shit was him pretending, sort of. Oh, where? Like, he has um an apprentice in it, who apparently is a pretty good, well-written character herself. But, um... Ugh. Sorry. My stomach is bad. Was that because um, the extra garlic I ordered for you? You had extra garlic? No. No, it was the cheese. It was the chez. And the bad cheese. Um. Not touching that thing. Yep. No. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, and like, he always tells her to, like, be good and do what the council says, even though mm-hmm. he never does. And, like, Don't I, I, listen to I him. haven't watched it, but. <laughs> Don't listen to what old Palpatine is a bit nuts. Yeah. Screw it. <laughs> Screw Palpatine. <laughs> Do it. I can never get that out of my head. Thank you very much, Aaron Hansen. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> well, you drive, Buick. <laughs> uh, I right. can't do Aaron's voice. He's got such a unique voice they can do everyone. Yeah. Yeah. You did a really good Hank Hill on the game. Hank Hill. 
Damn it, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does do that voice well. What are you doing? You're meant to just slide through them. You always overcomplicate things. No, I'm doesn't. It's not overcomplicated, Nathan. It's just stupid. Overcomplicated would be like, I respectfully disagree with you, blah, 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 blah. And give you, like, an essay reason. Yeah. Where it's just like, shut the fuck up. Hmm. I knew a lot of people like that from school. Not naming any names, Alan. But, yeah. Huh. What? That name. This someone I think I was aware of once. Yeah, the Victorian. Yeah. That's, that's why no one respected him. It was Victorian. Bossy was his nickname. Yeah, that's not. Look, even I hate You're him. making me remember him less by describing him more. So let's just leave it alone. Yeah. Um. I. Oh, coconuts. What? <laughs> you mm. Fucking melon. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what a yeah. pineapple. That's so funny. Oh my god, Nathan. Nathan, that was so funny. Wink bait. I cannot believe how funny that was. Mm. Hold it up. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Boing, boing. Uh -huh. Fuck you, guy. I'm not your brother, sir. I'm not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, brother. I hope there's like a whole season just in Canada. I know, you've said that before. And there won't be. There never will be. Because it's something we want. <laughs> yes. Um. Explodey. Why? Because. Oh, shit. I didn't even see that. And we're out of time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>